him. I want to watch the, the news. Fuck. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. You're watching FNN the Fox News Network. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. Viewer discretion is advised. Smack him a gob. The only news that matters is back. And the first story I want to get into is Paul Stanley of Kiff who said he does not want to write new songs because it can't compete with the past. What that really means is that in the past, he made money recording new music. Now he doesn't. I don't know why he just doesn't come out and say that. Oh, wait, I forgot. He's full of shit. And that is why Kiss is releasing the 40th anniversary of the Creatures of the Night album box set. And as you can see... It's full of Vinnie Vincent stuff, and I wonder if he's going to try to sue them. If he is, that'll be funny. Remember, Vinnie refused to sign any contracts with Kiss while he was in Kiss, so go ahead. Go lose in court again. I also think Kiss should re-release the best of the solo albums and make it correct this time. Next story. Brett Michaels said he is in no rush to make a Poison album. And I think that's great. I have to hand it to him. I mean, as messed up as the world is today, it would only make it worse with new Poison music. So, hey, I had no idea Brett Michaels was such a humanitarian. So, thumbs up, Brett. Next story. Skid Row's Rachel Bolin blasts all the online haters saying, how miserable of a bastard do you have to be to do that? And I happen to agree with them 100%. All you Pickle Whistler haters out there leaving comments how Skid Row should quit and this and that. I mean, you're all low class. If you want to do something classy, do it like me. Get a YouTube channel and make news and bash everybody like a gentleman. Next story. The Ronnie James Dio documentary Dio Dreamers Never Die will be featured in cinemas worldwide on September 28th and October 2nd as a two-day only exclusive. And I did my little research and I found out it's playing in a few theaters around my area. And you can bet your ass I'll be there. Next story. Jimmy Page explains why he refused to appear on Ozzy Osbourne's new album. He said, I will never be one of those people who record alone and send someone a file. Plus, he's fucking Jimmy Page. A stone cold pimp. Next story. There's a new book coming out called This Band Has No Past. How Cheap Trick Became Cheap Trick. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pull an Eddie trunk here, so excuse me. The author, Brian J. Cramp, is a friend of mine. Yes, I know him. We've spoken. He's been on my podcast as I've been on his podcast. And I remember a couple years ago, Brian sent me a picture of him hanging out with Bunny Carlos. And you know, Bunny Carlos uh, has some input in this book, and so does the ma their longtime manager. Can't remember his name now, but I do remember the name of Brian J. Cramp, because he is a friend of mine. So pre-order yours, because I did. Next story. Ex-Megadeth bass player David Ellison reveals why Megadeth's killing is my business is so fast. He said some of the songs were mid-tempo, like Skull Beneath the Skin and Chosen Ones, but one day Dave Mustaine got a letter from a fan that said, I hope your first album is faster than Metallica. And because of that, they double the speed on Chosen One and Skull Beneath the Skin. So that's why that album is so fast. And uh, I wonder if David Ellison said to Dave Mustaine, Hey Dave, that person that wrote the letter... Uh, is it male or female, and how old is she? Okay, I know that was wrong. And plus, I, I, I don't even care about the whole Dave Allison thing. I've said in the past, I thought he was screwed over by getting kicked out of Megadeth for that. I th just thought it was lame. But hey, man, I'm sorry, David Ellison. You're never going to live this down. Remember this guy? That was like 30 years ago, and all he did was whack off in the theater. You took it a step further. I have to interrupt the news for a righteous shout-out. 
This goes out to Mr. John Haynes, who gave me this. The original press of the first Kiss album that doesn't have Kiss in time. He gave me this, I don't know, it's probably been a year already, right, John? And some of you may be wondering, why am I bringing this up a year later? I have a simple explanation for that. Because I can, and John Hayne rules. Let's get back to the news. There are plans to release the Beatles Revolver box set later this year. It's going to be one of those deluxe deals, the same as Sgt. Pepper and Let It Be in the White Album. So I'm very much looking forward to this. This is my second favorite Beatles album, my favorite Beatles era. And hopefully there will be one for my favorite Beatles album, Rubber Soul. Next story. 36 years later, Metallica has released a video for Master of Puppets. And I watched it. It's really cool animated, like, lyric video. And the visuals are awesome. The only complaint, I don't like those guitars flying around. I thought that was kind of weak. But everything else was amazing. And if they would have released this in 1986, it would have been mind-blowing. Band's not in the video. It's just all images and really cool images except for the stupid guitars next story rob halford isn't happy about judas priest rock and roll hall of fame award he said we got shafted because priest is not going in like the other bands they just got one of those musical excellence award by the rock and roll hall of fame and he was like upset pissed off about it and I am a huge Judas Priest fan. I absolutely love Rob Halford. He's a hero of mine. And forgive me, Rob, but I'm just going to throw a little truth here. It serves you right for being pissed off. You were begging to be in that place. I got in so many fights with Priest fans when I said, I hope they don't get in. And the Priest fans were saying, well, Rob Halford wants to get in. Well, Rob Halford learned his lesson. And so should all you simps. Why do people care about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I said it before and I say it again. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is not to blame. It's all of you that care about it. And now Rob Halford knows what it feels like. Next story. Rob Zombie is working on a remake of what I consider the greatest movie ever made. Jaws. And he already released this poster for the movie. Alright, I made this up. This ain't true. I mean, it doesn't look unbelievable looking at that poster but this is a lie i was lying forgive me i said a lie but not as much as this guy yeah final story sammy hagar says he has no interest to join this van halen tribute concert that has been in the works i don't know if it's ever going to happen but it's funny that he says that since he wasn't even invited all the reports on this is David Lee Roth, Jason Newstead, Joe Satriani, Alex Van Halen. No mention of Sammy Hagar, and he's here saying, well, I don't think I'd want to be part of that. Yeah, sure, bullshit. If they'd call you, you'd be there faster than 55 miles an hour, you pud. And here's more bullshit. He said he had a dream that Eddie Van Halen came in his dream, and they wrote a song together called Thank You. You should change the title to the song with what you said about Eddie Van Halen in the past. Instead of thank you, why don't you call it Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. You can't let him rest. Now you have to give him credit on some song that you wrote, not him. Yeah, this sounds like the same dream he had when he thought that he sold more in that band than when David Lee Roth was in it. And also that dream that he said he sold out just as many arenas as Van Halen did. And in related news, Mitch Malloy had a dream that he was scrubbing Eddie Van Halen's toilet and Van Halen came in the bathroom and said, hey, join my band. And another related news, Gary Sharon had a dream with Eddie Van Halen that Eddie actually answered one of his phone calls. Man, Eddie's been busy because he also entered one of David Lee Roth's dreams. And Dave said it was so strange that it resembled any of his recent interviews. Well, that's it for the only news that matters. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and the Rock and Metal Combat Podcast.
and smack them a gob. Bang bang pizza skulls. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu you ladies of Spain. Fuck you, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah.